Hi friends, as the title says, this is a rather productive day in my life. As you will later see, it is primarily because it's the holidays and most people are not working. Which means I don't have to sit through a bunch of meetings that really messes up my flow. We'll get to all the details later, but now it is time to wake up. I start the day by laying there for a bit and just enjoying the calmness of early morning. Eventually, I get out my Kindle and continue to read the book 80-20 Principle by Richard Cook. I read this book a while back, but since it's kind of like the motto I live by, I thought I could use a refresher. I finally actually get up around 8.30 am and say hi to beep beep and boop. I do some random things around the house before heading out for a long bike ride. I try to go for a bike ride or a walk every morning since it's where I do a lot of my best thinking. I make my way back home and get started with work, which most of you who are watching this video are probably the most interested in. But before I dive in, I time block the day. This almost always changes throughout the day, but I still find it very beneficial because I make sure that I get the most important thing done at least, and then I rearrange my task as the day goes on. At work, I start off with an analysis that's been in the works for a while, and I'm really glad that it's finally ready to be wrapped up. This was quite a tricky analysis because I couldn't use any of the pre-established tools. The most challenging part was finding the right datasets, and throughout the process, I ended up making a bunch of datasets from scratch myself. For the very final pieces of data that I needed to finish up this analysis, I tried for like an hour before I gave up and decided to see who's still around and ask for some help from a senior data scientist. I waited around for a bit and someone was very kind and helped me out. Eventually, I pieced everything together and the implementation into code itself didn't take too much time. In case you're curious, the code itself was a combination of SQL and Python, which are the two languages I use the most at my job. It's now around 2pm and I head downstairs to grab some lunch. I made some rice and also microwaved frozen peas, carrots, and cauliflower rice to mix into the normal rice as an attempt to get myself to eat more vegetables. I also heat up a leftover meatball and sauce from a great Italian place I had yesterday. I eat and stare out the window and play with beep beep and boop. I try to make it a point to do my best to not look at my phone during the day and I found that I can enjoy my meals much better this way. Here's also a cute clip of Beep Beep drinking from a blender bottle because he, and actually also Boop, refused to drink from their own bowl. I finish up and go for a walk. I started doing this recently because I always get kind of sluggish after eating and this is a really good way to get more exercise in and refresh. I make my way back home and get started with some company trainings. As you can see, I am continuously fidgeting with this fidget toy to keep myself stimulated and from falling asleep. The trainings were actually done quite well, so it's not them, it's me. I definitely have problems concentrating, but I find that fidgeting with things does help. I take another break and stare at the window a bit before coming back and start with doing some self-evaluations since it's the end of the year. Self-evaluations are surprisingly hard. I feel like I'm busy all the time, but when I need to write down what exactly I've been busy with, it's actually kind of hard to say. I made a note to take better notes on the projects I work on in the future. I really wanted to knock out all the self-evaluations today, but that was too ambitious. Tomorrow, I'll put this as the most important thing to do and do it first thing so I make sure I finish it. Okay, so I thought I managed to make it throughout the day without a meeting, but surprise. But really, I'm not complaining. I work best in the mornings, so meetings at the end of the day are great for me. This one was brief and had concrete results and next steps. Overall, this has been a rather productive day for me, and I'm quite pleased with myself. I wrap up my work day by making a note of the things to get done tomorrow. I end the day with dinner, some editing, and the movie Usual Suspects, which is a fantastic film. And then I go to bed around 12. And that, my friends, is a rather productive day in my life. Do also check out my first day in the life video if you haven't already. And see you guys in the next video!